Today's video where today we're in Canton, Texas, which is about an hour east of Dallas. I'm here to do their first annual 4th of July hot dog eating contest and hopefully it's something they bring back. Um, so basically you have 10 minutes to eat as many hot dogs and buns as you can. Very similar rules to the Nathan style hot dog. So again, you can like dunk your breads, you can dunk your buns. Um, as long as it's in your mouth, it counts at the end, so you're allowed chipmunking. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward, basically as many hot dogs you can eat in 10 minutes. Um, this contest was sponsored by Sonic, which is super cool. So I guess this is a Sonic hot dog, I'm assuming, that we're used. Um, I've never had a Sonic hot dog before, so I can't really tell you, but I'm going to assume it is. Um, so cost to register for this contest, I believe, was 20 or $25, um, and they accepted a number of different participants. Um, so yeah, I came down here uh, super excited to be able to participate in this. Um, not only was the city of Canton a really, really cool place, I'm not sure if it's a city or a town, but not only was Canton very, very cool, but I loved Texas. This was a very nice, warm uh, day. I mean, this was probably... I don't know, if you're talking Fahrenheit, probably 96, 100 degrees out, probably like 96 degrees. If you're talking in Celsius, like 40 degrees. Um, but yeah, just very much enjoyed it. Um, super cool, no complaints. Uh, good uh, competition there. The gentleman to uh, my right, which would be on my left on screen, um, he was definitely a good eater. And the gentleman um, in the white uh, on the utmost right of the screen right now, um, again, super nice guy. Met him at the uh, at a pizza challenge actually, um, and he again a very skilled eater. Um, so we all kind of kicked off to the start. Uh, definitely some good competition. Um, the three of us gentlemen were all pretty close at this point, um, within you know a couple of dogs away. Um, and I also need to give a huge shout out to Blaine for uh, recording. Um, it's you know it's hard when you have uh, individuals kind of standing in front of everyone, um, but he did a really good job. Uh, you know despite the crowd and uh, from the distance away he had to be because they had all this uh, this area barricaded, etc. etc. Uh, from my understanding, you were allowed to have condiments should you choose to use them. Um, I don't think anybody on stage used, could used condiments, at least uh, nobody that I saw, um, as we were all kind of dunking our buns, as it generally is the quickest way to do it. Um, the uh, Thanks to all the counters as well, the counters were operating in a very uh, efficient and good manner. Um, I was trying to keep track of my own personal number, um, also on top of the tracker, um, or the counter, just because it's always a good thing to double check. Um, it's something they do at Nathan's, where uh, they definitely have a lot of uh, a lot of different checks, we'll say, both from number of people, just to ensure that everything is uh, accurate and efficient. So I'll talk a little bit about strategy. Um, so hot dogs is never something I've ever really trained for. I've only ever, this would be my second hot dog eating contest of all time, and I've only ever done one hot dog practice run. Um, so not something uh, that I'm very familiar with. Um, hot dogs are definitely a technique food. So yes, you could have all the capacity in the world, but if you don't have the technique down, you're not gonna be the most efficient eater. So the technique that I was using was kind of the one hot dog followed by one bun. So you'd grab the uh, hot dog or the wiener in the one hand, you'd grab the bun with the other. While you're chewing on the uh, hot dog, the bun would go in the water. And then once you have eaten uh, or pretty much chewed the hot dog, you then 
use the bun um, kind of as like a sponge and or water like that's your liquid to swallow it um, so at the start I definitely took me a little while to get into the rhythm as I mentioned I've never really trained for hot dogs and I didn't uh, do any kind of a practice run for this so it was kind of probably by about this point um, you know where we're you know let's say uh, four four and a half minutes in whatever it may be um, that I started to kind of get a bit of a rhythm uh, I kind of started to see how I needed to hold the bun to put it like gracefully in the water and pull it out all in like one compressed piece whereas before I was holding the buns kind of keeping them still elongated if that makes sense whereas I realized I could like kind of crunch the bun into more just a palm and still dunk that efficiently and then it was also uh, more efficient if I needed to wring any water out instead of having to use um, two hands which I kind of was doing at the first so uh, also by this point um, I noticed I was a little bit ahead um, the gentleman on the right of me that I mentioned with the beard there um, he was keeping up to me pretty closely at this point uh, I did have a little bit of a lead um, but I didn't quite feel comfortable um, of a lead yet um, however I well I, I guess I'll put it this way um, you see me starting to kind of look around and look down the table a little bit as I was identifying okay I think I could probably ease up the gas a little bit um, so by this point, about 27-ish dogs in, um, that's kind of like you said, you see me kind of looking down the table, looking at the other numbers, I realize, okay, I can I can take a little, little bit of a break. Um, but like I said, the irony of that is that it was when I got my technique down. Like if I would have had the technique more at the start, um, again, not only the way that I'm dunking the buns, but also the way that I'm able to position it into my mouth, um, getting the hot dog rhythm down so it's like one all one hot dog and one go um, you know to make a long story short if I would have had that from the beginning um, it would have been a little bit uh, smoother for sure uh, but like I said something you have to practice for um, again at this point I kind of realized I could start to ease off a little bit some of the contestants were easing off um, some of them were not so I wanted to make sure I had a comfortable lead before I officially kind of uh, slowed down a little bit however regardless I was going to keep eating all the way till the end um, I just kind of changed up the pace a little bit so I think that's pretty much uh, about it I was now about 30 hot dogs in I believe the gentleman on um, the right of the screen that I was mentioning earlier I think he at this point was about 20 20 something and then the gentleman to my left I think was approximately around 14 or 15 um, so that everybody I'll let you uh, get to the rest of the video again I think that's pretty much all the commentary I have to say I um, you're noticing again most of us kind of easing up relaxing um, either due to just fatigue or due to comfortability with our position uh, but yeah, I'll let you get the rest of the video and uh, give you some more info in the in a moment or you get to see the closing at least. And also you'll have a lot of fun with some extra special kind of uh, uh, some extras at the end of the video. But also um, the individuals uh, serving the hot dogs were very efficient. Um, they had it all down packed. Like I said, this was a very, very well run contest, especially for it being the first a hot dog contest that the Canton Chamber of Commerce uh, put on. So excellent job they did. Huge thank you again to everybody there. Can't thank them enough. Uh, but yeah, so with that everybody, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, let's see what happens.
dogs for our winner. Congratulations. All the way from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, he's come to Canton, Texas, and has won the first annual hot dog eating contest sponsored by Sonic. Congratulations to Joel Hansen. Blake Moore, Chairman of the Board, Canton, Texas Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, everybody enjoy that? We hope that this will be the first of many and a growing event here in Kent, Texas. You know, we, we have hundreds of thousands of people that are captured here once a month. So we hope to be able to move this down to First Monday Grounds in the future. And we'd like to thank Sonic of Canton for being our sponsor. All right, all right, if we could, everybody could step down and just leave Joel up here with our folks from Sonic and also Julie Seymour, president of the Chamber of Commerce. And Joel Hanton, model versus food. Here's your check for $500, buddy. Uh, try cashing that one. Joel, thanks for coming down to Canada, buddy. Hey everyone, so I just have to give a huge absolute thank you to everybody here at the uh, Canton Chamber of Commerce. Um, everybody who put on this hot dog contest and was involved in it in any facet, all those who were also there to watch, support, and all that good stuff. So I did actually, um, you know, kind of say a few words thanking everybody um, before I got off stage. However, ultimately I do not get on a video. But yeah, just a huge thank you not only to the uh, to Canton, to Texas, and all the great people there. Um, seriously, I can't say enough. It was a lot of fun. Huge thanks to Sonic for sp uh, sponsoring uh, this contest there. Um, but yeah, so besides that, also huge thanks to all the competitors. E everything was a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed the time there. Definitely would love to come back. It's a great little small place there. They're known for this big uh, kind of like flea market or market that they have. Um, I think it's on the first Monday of every month, if I'm not mistaken. So again, just huge thank you to everybody here in Canton. Thank you to the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you to everybody involved. And uh, yeah, so now let's uh, show you some behind the scenes. Hail ride, hail ride, you I don't know this song. You can that way. If you're gonna raise hail, then you better damn raise hail ride. Hail ride, hail ride. All right. <laughs> There you go, you did it. <laughs> oh, this is God's country. We got coats. We got coats. Holes. Holes. In different area coats. Area coats. in the pockets whenever you're into got the magic stick i'm a love doctor got your friends teach you a bounce wrong i got you
what she said. special thank you to our Texan friend here, to Jesus, also kind of like Jesus, but Jesus. <laughs> it's his birthday today, it's 4th of July. Man, thanks so much for coming out shooting. Absolutely. Really appreciate you sharing some true Texas experience with us. Uh, not to mention, we have the rest of 4th of July. He brought a whole bunch of guns, we had a lot of fun. So man, thanks again, really appreciate it. Absolutely. And I uh, definitely look forward, till next time, next time we're back sure. in Texas. So Woo! thanks Let's my brother, appreciate it.